So I'm going to show you how to do a couple of calculations. Uh, you have a quiz where you will calculate um, crime rates. Uh, so you'll be given a, a number of crimes, a population. And, and so I'm going to show you how to do that so you know what the formula is. And then with just raw data, you can calculate a crime rate. So the first thing um, I'll show you really quickly. So we've got a chart here. Um, from 2000, 2009, just showing the year, the population. Uh, this is United States as a whole, uh, the number of violent crimes, uh, and then it breaks violent crime down based on the FBI's uniform, uh, uniform crime reports, index crimes, uh, the homicide, rape, robbery, aggravated assault, and then it has property crimes total, and then broken down into categories. These columns, the violent crime rate, they are showing, I've, um, I've whited out um, those so we can compare it. We're going to do the calculations and then the, uh, the crime rate was already there. And so we'll be able to compare it to see if we did our calculations correctly. So I'm not going to do all of these different crime rates, but um, I'll just do a few of them just as practice. So the first thing we're going to look at is the, the formula. So what we're going to do each time we do a crime rate is we're going to start with the total number of crimes. So let's just do the year 2000. We'll start right here, 1,425,486. So we're just gonna write a formula out. We're gonna just write uh, crime, and then we're gonna divide that number by the population. So our population in um, the B2 uh, cell is uh, 281,421,906. And then we're going to multiply that by 100,000. And that will give us our crime rate. So let's see if we can do this really quickly. I'm just going to go down here and we're going to do a Excel formula equals. We're going to do, uh, so I don't have to worry about typing everything correctly. We're going to do C2 divided by B2 times 100,000. And that gives us. 506.52. So then if we look in our first cell here, you see the answer pop up and I can just change the font to black. 506.5, they just round it to a singular decimal point. So the, the violent crime rate in 2000 was 506.5 per 100,000 people. Let's talk really quickly about that crime rate. The reason we, we, we use 100,000 people is it allows us to compare um, crimes and circumstances when populations change. So you can see we started in 2000, 281 million roughly, and then we're trying to compare crime uh, to uh, 2009 with, when the population has gone up um, to 307 million people. Um, so we're, that's why we try to calculate a, a rate and talk about a rate uh, because it allows us to compare things that are not equal in population. As an example, I go to the, my next tab. I've pulled up statistical data. This is just for the year 2016 for the metropolitan statistical areas, New Orleans and New York City. So we look here, we can compare just the city of New York, not New Jersey and all the surrounding areas, but just the city of New York. They have 335 murders compared to um, the city of New Orleans, which had 174. And so it's really hard to compare those numbers because this is such a big place compared to New Orleans. So if we, uh, let's just clear out that column and just calculate our crime rate. If we did, um, again, a, a, an Excel formula, we start with equal. We're going to do 174. We're going to divide that by the population, and we're going to multiply that by 100,000, and that gives us roughly 44. So a crime rate of uh, 44, and if we can, if we want to get what real number, kind of decimal, couple decimal points, 43.81 would be, so this would be the way we would word it would be there's 43.81 murders. Uh, or non-negligent manslaughter per 100,000 people. If we do the same thing down here in New York, where there were more, but there's a larger population times 100,000, 
again, number of crimes divided by the population times 100,000 gives us a crime rate. And you can see that that is a significant difference, 3.91 compared to 43.81. So when we talk about just sheer numbers, New York has more murders, but it has a much lower incident of murder per 100,000 people. So that's why we're talking about crime rates. So we can do another one right here, property crime. Um, we can look at the number of uh, crimes in, uh, what year is this? This is 2002, property crime rate in 2002. So again, uh, we'll do it down here, equals, we're gonna start with the number of total property crimes. We're gonna divide that by the 2002 population, and we're gonna multiply that by 100,000, and it gives us a property crime rate of 3,630.633 per 100,000 people. And if we look at that, 3630.6, just down to one decimal place. So we did that one uh, correctly as well. So we can keep doing these kind of calculations day in, day out. Um, but it's always going to stay the same. So make sure you, you memorize this uh, calculation or formula before you sit down and take your quiz. Total number of crimes divided by the population multiplied by 100,000. Now, we could also, if we wanted to look at you know, uh, a crime rate, 100,000 people is just kind of the common because um, it's, a, it's a large enough chunk but if we wanted to look at a crime rate per 10,000 people, you could do that. You just, you change what that number is if you want to compare things. So if you were only comparing small communities, if you were looking at, for example, uh, areas uh, around um, uh, Johnson County or in Hill County, maybe you go down to a thousand people and some of these communities are really small. So we could, we just need to find some nice little measurement unit that will allow us to compare uh, different areas that might have large numbers. So a uh, thousand is too small when you're talking about millions of people, but when you're talking about tens of thousands of people or uh, thousands of people, that, that might be more manageable than doing 100,000. All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about, there, there is no data on this chart related to clearance rate, but I thought I would bring it up. Uh, a clearance rate is um, essentially just the percentage of cases that lead to an arrest. So we're just gonna do that based on a percentage. And you've been calculating percentages your whole life with grades and things like that. So let's say for example, in our property crime category, there were, we'll use this number 2009, there were 9,337,060 property crimes. And we made an arrest in 5 million, let's say 620, 32,120, okay? So uh, again, total arrests. We wanna know what the clearance rate is. So we're just gonna do this as a percentage. So we're gonna start with the number of arrests, the part and divide the total. And then we want a percentage out of 100 what percentage, so then we'll multiply that by 100, and we see a clearance rate of 60%, 60.3%. So again, on a formula, we would look at uh, arrest divided by crimes, um, and then multiply that by 100 equals our clearance rate. Okay, uh, I don't think there are any clearance rate questions on your quiz, it's just about, um, these two calculations, crime rate and percent change. So let's look at our percent change. So one of the things that we can look at, I'll go ahead and make all of these uh, black. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's back out of that. Let's just highlight and turn black. So now you can see without calculating them, now you can see if you had done these as a practice, um, then now you, you can um, see if you got them correctly. So how about that really quickly before I highlight these, I'll pause for just a second. I don't literally pause, but I'll wait just a second. Calculate a couple of these on your own. And as I change them, uh, the text from white to black, you can check your answers to see. So give you a second to 
write down the numbers. You can pause the video. That would probably be better for all of us. Pause the video with your numbers. Calculate a couple of them to check your work. All right, three, two, one. Welcome back. All right, did you get them right? Hopefully you got them right. So again, all you need to do with this calculation, make up numbers, practice it a few times, get that calculation, crime divided by population times 100,000. Just make sure you remember 100,000 and not 100. Um, and so we'll move on to the percent change. So this one's a, a little trickier, um, involves an extra step. We, we are going to look at percent. So we know that we're trying, we're gonna use 100, not 100,000 in our percent change. What we're looking at to, is to see how this change, this rate has changed over time. So you'll have a couple of questions on your quiz uh, where you need to calculate the percent change. And the best way we're gonna write this formula, we, we would see this differently if we were writing it on paper, it would look like just a division problem. So what we're going to um, do is look at our new rate and we're gonna subtract our old rate we're going to do that first. So if you remember the order of operations, we're going to start with what's in our parentheses. So we're going to take our new rate and subtract our old rate. And then we are going to divide that um, by our old rate. And then we're going to multiply by 100 and get a percent change. So if we look at um, the way we, we subtract, there's a couple of things that we didn't see with our crime rate. Um, our crime rate and our clearance rate can never be negative. We can, our crime rate can go down, but we can't have negative crimes. You can only go as far as zero crimes. You can't go you know, below that. Same with our arrest rate. We can't arrest in a negative rate. So it has to be uh, a positive number, but our percent change can go down. So if you change in a, a decreased way, so if we can look from our violent crime rate here, our crime rate was uh, in 2008, 458.6 um, violent crimes per 100,000 people. And in the next year, 2009, it's down to 431.9 uh, violent crimes per 100,000 persons. So that crime rate has gone down. So we should expect that number to be a negative. Again, we're going to start with this and we're going to subtract from that 458. So if, if I subtract um, 458 from 431, a smaller number, I'm going to have a negative number and then I'm going to divide. So my answer is going to be a negative percent change. That means the percent change went down. Um, on the other hand, uh, if I was... Let me find one uh, right here, 2005 to 2006, my crime rate went up. So I'm going to start with new, subtract old, which would leave me with a positive number. And, and so my percent change is going to be positive, which means the percentage changed in an upward or increased direction. So let's do a couple of these percent change. And again, there is no answer key here uh, to show us if we got it right. We're just going to have to rely on uh, knowing that we did the formula. So let's do, uh, we'll just do a couple down here. Let's do from 2009 to 2008, uh, compare year to year. So if we start, we want to do equals. I'm going to go ahead and put my parentheses in so I get the, um, the correct order of operations. And again, without before I type the number, I'm just going to use the cell so I make sure I don't make any errors. Uh, when, you, um, when you're doing this, you'll be doing it with a, a calculator, um, so you'll have to type the numbers in. So I'm gonna subtract the old rate, and then I'm gonna close that parenthesis, and then I'm gonna divide by the old rate, and then I'm going to multiply, oh, multiply by 100, and that should give us a negative 5.8% change. So um, the, the way we could word that would be from 2009 to 2008, the violent crime rate decreased 5.8%. All right, and then if we go back up and we'll do this one where we saw an increase, um, 
So we, we do the same formula. We're going to do it equal. It's an Excel. We're going to open that. Let's start. Let's take the, the uh, old and we're going to subtract the new. Oh, that's not right. Let's go back. We start with the new and we subtract the old, close that parentheses, divided by the old, and we multiply by 100. And you can see a positive number. So again, just use kind of your, uh, your um, common sense here. If the crime rate is higher, it's got to be a positive change. It's got to be an increase. And when I say positive change, I don't mean change in a good way, positive change. I mean just a change in an upward way. It has increased. So our crime rate increased from 2005 to 2006. Um, our total number of crimes uh, went up, but that, but so did our population. So that in and of itself doesn't necessarily mean that crime is going up. If our crime rate goes up slower than our population, our crime rate can still go down. Uh, but this, you can see the from our crime rate without having to calculate it, it went up from 2005 to 2006. So we should expect a positive um, percent change. So here, 2.19 or 2.2 percent increase. So again, the way we would word it is um, the crime rate in 2006 increased 2.2 percent from the previous year. Pretty simple, not that challenging. Um, again, so I've, I've got these uh, formulas here. Again, you will not have, I don't think, any clearance rate um, calculations on your quiz, but you will have crime rate calculations and you will have percent change calculations. So a couple of things just to pay attention to, make sure you read the question carefully and that you, you are doing the correct calculation in the correct year. Um, so the, if it, it will ask for violent crime in 2002 or property crime in, um, in 2006. So make sure you're using the right data, you're reading the chart properly, and you should have uh, no problems. Um, I will be available if before you sit down and take your quiz, if you want uh, to ask any questions about these uh, formulas. Uh, but again, pause the video, look at some of these uh, rates, do a couple of calculations on the percent change, the property crime, make sure that you've got this down before you sit down and take the quiz. Once you sit down and take the quiz, you need to be able to answer the questions. So reach out before then if you have any questions.